Hi my friends, now we are going for wedge delay, the second part of the calibration. So <coughs> we already calibrated the velocity and now we are going for wedge delay. What do you mean by wedge delay? See, <coughs> this is a prop, this is a wedge and the beam is trans uh, transmitting from the uh, prop and it's tran uh, transferred through the Rexlite material of the wedge, uh, wedge and it's <coughs> see it's transmitted transmitting from here and it's go through the rexlite material and it is going like this and retained back so there is some uh, uh, delay is there between wedge and the material so if you are doing the wedge delay means the machine will automatically calculate that one that uh, distance and uh, some delay is there so it's automatically calculated that's why we are using wedge delay and most probably we are using on the uh, with the help of side for only so we can choose with the radial sensor for the freshes okay <coughs> sorry and now we are going for wedge delay here okay Mm, apply to all angles not for single angle apply to all angle start see here depth option also this thickness also this so we can choose radius so first uh, first radius of the uh, v1 block is 100 so we have to calculate 100 we have to put it the parameters 100 and next and next okay this is a uh, gate option put it here uh, 75 something like that okay see that is echo from radius 100 so increase the gate width and increase the threshold also okay we have to do, we have to smooth the echo that that echo will be at the that in between the two lines make sure that one correct or not next okay calibrate okay it's between the two lines and here showing that it's a beam bath is 100.5 so you can accept okay if it is wrong means we can restart the wedge delay calibration okay okay my friends bye have a nice day